Welcome, pick a corner, lay back, sip your drink, and let the vibes take over. Enjoy the video. Picture this, you're the boss of your own online store. You're hustling hard, making sales left and right, except behind the scenes, it's chaos. Your sales reports are chilling on one tab, inventory logs are vacationing in another, and customer details, they've gone rogue, probably living their best lives in a spreadsheet somewhere. Sound familiar? Yeah, it's a vibe, just not a good one. But what if we could fix all that? Like. In minutes, imagine a sleek admin dashboard where you can add, remove, edit, or track products faster than you can say, why is my inventory missing? A dashboard that gives you all the juicy stats, sales, stock levels, maybe even a little graph that makes you feel like you're in the Wolf of Wall Street. And for your customers, they just get to click buy and live their best customer life while you sip your metaphorical coffee and watch it all work. Oh. And because I love overpromising and under-delivering, I might throw in features that I'll never even complete. So, are you ready to create this admin dashboard? Let's dive in. So, funny story, I actually started a project just like this a while back. It was Saturday, August 24, 2024, a day that will go down in history as the great admin dashboard fail. Why? Well, because my layout was let's just say broken. I had no clue how to use Next.js layouts properly at the time, so everything I touched turned into a disaster. Adding products? No. Retrieving them from the database? Also no. It was like trying to build IKEA furniture without the manual, except the furniture was also on fire. So naturally, I did the mature thing. I abandoned the project entirely. But hey, growth is about retrying, right? So here we are, giving this admin dashboard a second chance at life. This time, I kind of know what I'm doing, or at least I have the confidence to pretend I do. Let's see if I can redeem myself. Okay, before we jump into the how-to part of this, let me introduce the stars of today's show, Next.js and Superbase, our dynamic duo. Next.js is this fancy framework for building websites that don't just sit there looking pretty, but actually do things. Think of it as your website's brain. And Superbase? It's the super organized best friend that stores all your data safely, like that one friend who always remembers everyone's coffee order. Here's the master plan. Our admin dashboard is going to have two sides, one for the admin and one for the customers. The admin side is where the magic happens. On the customer side, it's super simple. They just browse, click on what they like, buy it, and boom, money in your metaphorical pocket. But wait, how does this actually work? Let me break it down. Imagine your website is like a restaurant. Next.js is the waiter. It takes your customer's orders, like I want to see the products list, and runs to the kitchen aka Superbase. Superbase, being the organized chef, knows exactly where everything is stored and sends it back to Next.js, which then serves it up beautifully on the screen. Easy, right? Now, to build this, we're starting with the admin dashboard because, let's face it, that's where all the action is. First, we'll set up a layout that doesn't completely break this time, thanks to Next.js built-in layout system. Then, we'll connect it to Superbase so we can start adding and displaying products. I'm talking full functionality, none of that fake it till you make it energy. So, let's roll up our sleeves and fix the disaster of August 24, 2024. Step 1. Get the layout working. Step 2. Connect it to Superbase. Step 3. Don't panic if something breaks, because it probably will. So, we're going to start fresh and call our project Cantover, because history loves to repeat itself, and apparently, so do I. So as we said, step one, let's create our Next.js project. If you've never done this before, don't worry, it's just fancy tech speak for make a folder full of code that might break. Here's how we do it. We open the terminal, and then we write npx create next app at latest, and we call our app Cantover. Once the project is fully done, instead of doing cd Cantover, what I normally do is I actually open the folder with VS Code, and then I directly install the Superbase package. Boom! We've just summoned an XJS project and told it to sit in a folder called Cantover. We also installed Superbase, our project BFF. Now, let's set up Superbase itself. Head over to superbase.com, sign in, and create a new project. Call it Cantover DB, because why stop at one remainder of our past failures? Congratulations, you're now officially connected to Superbase. If you were expecting something cooler, sorry. It's just code, but now the real fun begins. Next, we'll work on creating the layout for the admin dashboard. This is where our poor, broken layout from last year gets a glow up. Let's make sure it actually works this time by using Next.js built-in layout system. Ta-da! We now have a basic layout where our dashboard can live. It's simple, functional, 
and most importantly, not broken this time. Now, we're starting with the most underrated page ever, the add product page. We've got a clean little form here where you can input the product name, price, and the spicy description. When you hit the add button, it sends the data to our Superbase database. If you try skipping any fields, it will politely yell at you because that's how we roll. Validation is key. And don't worry, if something breaks, we'll show a friendly error message because no one likes guessing what went wrong. All right. The moment of truth, we've successfully added products to our database, but right now, they're just chilling in Superbase, unseen, unappreciated, and unloved. So, let's fix that. It's time to fetch these products and show them off on our dashboard because what's the point of an admin dashboard if it doesn't flex its inventory? Now, let's talk about how this magic works. We've got our use effect hook, basically the React equivalent of someone saying, yo, run this function when the page loads. Inside, we're calling Superbase to fetch all the products from the database. If it works, we store the data in a nice little state variable called products. If it doesn't work, well, we throw some shade at the console with an error message. Either way, the table on the dashboard now flexes all the products in the database. ID, name, price, description, right there on the screen. And if your store is still empty, the page will kindly remind you to stop being lazy and go add some products. And there you have it, a dashboard that doesn't just exist, it thrives. It fetches data, shows off the products, and even flexes its empty state messages when there's nothing to display. But we're not done yet. Let's kick it up a notch by adding the ability to edit and delete products. Because come on, we're professionals at this. When you click the edit button, we'll take you to the edit page. And for the delete button, let's get rid of them. All of this happens in the back end with the magic of Superbase database. One click and boom, the product disappears. No more, oops. I didn't mean to delete that, unless you do, in which case, sorry not sorry. Anyways, the edit product page. It's like the add product page, but with more editing. We fetch the product details, display them in a form, and let you update anything you want. Hit update and Superbase takes care of the rest. Oh, and once you're done, we'll whisk you back to the dashboard like the productive admin you are. Customers, welcome to your paradise, the Cantover homepage. Here, products are just one click away from being yours. Each product gets a nice, cozy, buy now button. And when you click it, magic happens. A database entry is made in the sales table. No checkout system here. This is fast and simple and unstable like your favorite fast food chain and for those of you thinking are we really done without a sales page no I'm not that lazy. Here it is, a simple report showing all the products sold and their quantities. It's straightforward, clean, and actually useful. So now you know who's buying what and how much of it. Business intelligence. Now, before you ride off into the sunset, let's take a moment to address the elephants in the room. The features we could have added but didn't, like an option to upload product photos. I mean, what's a product without a picture? A mystery, that's what. But hey, maybe I like the suspense, or maybe I just didn't feel like debugging file uploads today. Who's to say? And let's not forget a dedicated product page for customers. Imagine browsing through beautifully displayed products, complete with prices, descriptions, and maybe even a buy now button that screams capitalism at its finest. Could we have built it? Absolutely. Did we? No. Why? Because sometimes you just have to leave a little room for imagination and future video ideas. Look. I could sit here and brainstorm features all day, like a discount system, customer account, or even a chatbot named Clippy 2.0. But where's the fun in finishing everything in one go? And just like that, we have a fully functional e-commerce system that would make Jeff Bezos give us a thumbs up. Probably. We've built an admin dashboard where you can manage products, a sales page to see what's flying off the virtual shelves, and a customer-facing homepage that's simple and effective. It's all here, tied neatly with a digital bow. And while we're reflecting, fun fact, it took me 15 days to edit this video. Why? Because halfway through, burnout said, tag, you're it. And I had to spend a week questioning my life choices while binge-watching shows I'd already seen twice. But hey, we made it. And that's what counts. So, if you've survived watching this, congratulations. You've officially leveled up in patience and perseverance. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and maybe leave a comment telling me how you'd use this dashboard. Until next time, keep building and keep learning. And also, don't forget, even broken dashboards can lead to great things. May your year sparkle.